Hi, Serrano students. Mrs. Bean here, your eighth grade school counselor at Serrano, here to welcome you to the 2022-23 school year as a soon-to-be eighth grader Serrano student. I want to make sure that you are able to fill out your elective form smoothly and appropriately in the best way so that you make sure that you get the classes that you have desired to take for eighth grade. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit of the form to make sure that you understand the different electives that we have available. Please keep in mind that we always do our best to give you your top choices, but sometimes it does not always work with our scheduling, our master schedule, but we will do our very best to meet those needs. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the elective form and make sure you understand how to fill it out accurately. So you'll notice here on the elective form about midway through, you have a section here where you will be filling out your top four elective choices. Now notice that you have either year long classes or trimester long electives to choose from. Please make sure that when you're going through the list, you label your choices as number one, two, three, and four from your top choice to your fourth choice. Some of these electives are year long, like beginning band, uh, chorus, ASB, those are year long electives. Also notice that there's a little asterisk next to many of the year long courses. That means that there is an application that must be filled out for you to apply for this elective and for us to consider you for a qualifying student for this elective. So be sure that you don't miss that part on the next section of the form. If you indicate that you want the elective mix, remember that is trimester long elective. So you have one elective for each of the three trimesters that we have here at Serrano. If you do choose the elective mix here, then we're asking for you to indicate the different electives that we have available for next year as your top four choices. And we will do our very best to give you your top three choices in the elective mix wheel. Now remember the applications must be filled out for any year long electives when they have the asterisk on it. These are the applications here that you must click on and fill out and make sure that you submit them so that we can consider you for one of these electives for next year. This indicates that you have filled out an application just as a reminder to you to make sure that you do that. Remember also zero period is something that we ask all students to commit to for the full year. So it is your responsibility to make sure that that is a, a commitment that you wanna make and keep for your eighth grade year. If you have any other questions about how to fill out this elective form, please let me know, don't hesitate to ask. Also, you can ask your teachers for help as well along the way. We look forward to seeing you in, as an eighth grader and uh, take care guys and have a great rest of your seventh grade year. Bye.